So this is Jonathan Rodriguez, and I'm working at problem number 30 out of chapter 12. So figure P11.15 refers to a small flat puck with mass 2.4 kilograms sliding on a frictionless horizontal surface. It is held in a circular orbit about a fixed point by a rod with negligible mass and length 1.5 meters pivoted at one end. Initially, the puck has a speed of 5 meters per second. A 1.3 kilogram ball of putty is dropped vertically onto the puck from a small distance above it and immediately sticks to the puck. So here's basically all that information restated and drawn out. Here's our diagram of the puck attached with radius r and uh, with mass m1 and velocity in that direction all our, our uh, knowns and some of the givens restated. So, question A asks, what is the new period of rotation after the collision? We can find the new period by simply using the, p the formula for the period, which is just 2 pi times the radius all over velocity. Uh, the, the concept of Con er, conservation of angular momentum and the angular momentum for a point particle which is just MVR. Uh, plugging in the angular momentum for a point particle to the, con er, to the conservation of angular momentum we get MVR or all the mass or mass 1 times velocity initial times the radius equals um, the com or the combined mass of the puck and the putty times the final velocity times the radius. From there, we solve for velocity final, and the we find the r drops out, and this is our new value for the velocity final. Plugging in this velocity into the period or the formula for the period, we get this formula over here. And after solving all that out, we find that the new period for or the new period of rotation is 2.91 seconds. We can also re er, reach the same conclusion using the uh, equation for angular momentum I omega. We can do this because the moment of inertia for a point particle is m r squared. The equation for omega is velocity er, over radius. When we combine these two in the equation I omega, we find that the angular momentum is MVR for a point particle, which is the same thing that the same value that we used initially as our angular momentum. <coughs> Question B asks is angular momentum of the puck putty system about the axis of rotation conserved in the process? And the answer is, since the pivot doesn't exert a torque, angular momentum of the puck putty system is conserved. So once again, since there's no torque coming out of the er, being caused by the pivot, the angular momentum of the puck putty system is conserved. Question C asks, is the momentum of the system conserved in the process of the, pu of the putty sticking to the puck? Now, this one was a little bit tricky because it's asking for just momentum. In problem B, it was referring to angular momentum. Momentum is a vector with magnitude and direction. So, since it's stated that the putty sticks immediately, it can be said that no sliding occurs in the process. And therefore, the magnitude of the momentum is conserved. However, the pivot pin is constantly pulling on the rod and changing the direction of the momentum. So the magnitude of the momentum is conserved. However, the direction is changing, or is constantly changing. Question D asks, is mechanical energy of the system conserved in the process? The answer is no. Some of the mechanical energy is converted into internal energy, which is also known as heat. 
Also, it can be said that some energy was used to deform the putty as it stuck to the puck. 